Welcome to DIY Solar Homestead. Today we're here in Lower Michigan, the Kellogg Bird Sanctuary. Is that correct? Correct. This is everybody, this is Loopy. So, here we are. Here's some of the birds here. I haven't found one of the feeders yet, but I will drop quarters when I find one. They want to eat too. Look at those big birds. And someday, when I have animals on the homestead, that'll be so cool. So here we are, in another section. We're gonna point out that purple feathers, the purple feathers on these females. Oh, someone's coming. No, they see the buck. Hopefully you can see it on the computer because I can't see it bright purple on this. It's pretty cool. Oh, she got a bucket. I gotta take that zoom on. She's throwing feed to the to the to the yard birds. There they go. There's some corn out there. Stumbled and spilt her corn and scared them. <laughs> Here we have an injured bird. This is what's nice about a bird sanctuary. <laughs> He's a rescue, or I don't know what it is. That bird is a rescue. And if it would have been left like that in wildlife, it would have been eaten. It would have been goose dinner. That's pretty cool. Someone probably called and said, we got a bird that got hit by a car or whatever. Or a fight. Probably got in a fight. Trying to turn. Turn oh, left. Could have been born that hey, way. Left face, soldier. We want to see your wing. Could have been born, yeah. That is really neat. He's going to live a full life out here. He does too, guy wing. He tricked us. It's broken. <laughs> He's honking at me. I must have gotten away. <laughs> Here we have a red-tailed hawk. These are all saved birds. Turn There's, around. It's like a total of four cages here. What is he doing? About face, soldier. There we go. Beautiful bird. Red-tailed hawk. This female was found injured on the side of the road as a hatch year bird in 2009. She dis dislocated her right wing and came here after a veterinarian determined she was not reasonable. Her injury prevents her from flying, but she is now an education bird and has been trained to stand on a glove for programs. Oh, that's cool. And she will live a full life. Wow. He's not moving at all. We have no. a barn owl. It looks like it's fake. He's not moving at all. No. But he's got little chickens down there for food. So it's got to be real. This male came to the sanctuary in 2011 from a wildlife. I'm in a chicken fence. Here, don't move. We have in Florida. He was found as a hatch year bird in 2006. An injured wing. I'm going to go around with the rest of that. More birds to come. Now that's a beautiful bird. Look how big it is. Holy smokes. Red tailed hawk. See if I can hold this steady. The exact age and personal history of this bird is unknown, but she has been. At the sanctuary since 2002, this hawk was found with a right wing injury. She cannot fly, but has learned to keep her balance, even though she does not have the use of two full wings. Pretty cool. Oh, there we go. Pretty bird. Not that good of a picture, but we have a barred owl. 
It's a male found as a hatch year bird oh, in God. Indiana in 2009. It was on the side of the road with a stick in his left eye. The eye was too damaged and had to be removed. This makes it impossible for him to have a successful, to be a successful night hunter in the wild. He had no peripheral vision. So he came to the sanctuary in 2010. You may see him flying around his enclosure. He is now an education bird and has, is trained to sit on a glove. Peripheral vision and what's the other one? He can't tell the dif uh, distance with only one eye. This time we'll get to see the board because even if I zoom in, so it's most dark. of these the wings are uh, it's not injury. zooming for me. I guess I was zoomed in, but anyway, <coughs> great horned owl. The great horned owl has a permanent left wing injury and can no longer fly. She came to the sanctuary in 2008 after being treated at the Michigan State University Veterinary Clinic. Her age is unknown, but her large size suggests that she is a female. Male owls are usually smaller in weight and size. I didn't know. <sighs> That's pretty interesting. Now I know. Cool. Do you know great horned owls are the only one predator to hunt skunks? You hear that, everybody? Wow. So raise some great horned owls in your backyard so we can get rid of half of the skunks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. I didn't know we had bald eagles here. So there's one. The other one's up there. Both of these eagles were found around Bay County and have wing injuries and they cannot fly. They were hatched in 2015, 2016. Get a good visual on this one. And came to the sanctuary as juveniles. They will grow in their full adult feathers around age four. Although they look big, each weighs about eight pounds. Just a little bit more than an average human newborn. Whoa. Cool beans. And their wingspan is six to seven feet. It's Bind more than me. This is a good close up for this bird. Yeah. It's a beautiful this bird. This is the most common one in North America. We get to see some colors in this. Yeah. And she's facing us. This dark colored hawk has a left wing injury she has brought here after a veterinary determined she would be unable to hunt and fly successful in the wild. Her exact age and personal history is unknown. All right, it was cool. It was cool. So, this is a Lady Amherst pheasant. I have never, never seen a pheasant with so many beautiful colors. That's awesome. Look at that. Okay, here you go. Welcome to the W.K. Kellogg Bird Sanctuary here in Lower Michigan. I'm still on Zoom. But there's the whole park and all the big birds. All right, that'll be it. Thanks for watching. Let's go ahead subscribe click on the like the share and uh i'll see you on the next video have a nice sunny day